kick back, unwind, and enjoy a rare find. Today, we have 22 rare finds. First rare find is this really small, maybe like four inches, realistic port of vision. Now, realistic was Radio Shack's brand, and I was gonna save it for a uh, CRT, a Ryan Moses episode, to see if it worked, but I, I couldn't help myself. I plugged it in, but I couldn't get a picture to show up from the NES, and I think that I tried adjusting everything and I couldn't really get it to show up, so we're gonna film it anyway, eventually, and maybe when I'm in the heat of the moment, trying to film it, it'll just work, but I couldn't figure it out. Well, 10 minutes ago. Next to our find. Hey, yo. Uh, we got some wrestling autographs and some extra pictures. I guess somebody went to an autograph signing. It is The Outsiders, Kevin Nash and Scott Hall, and I have a bunch of extra pictures. They're kind of pixely when you look up close at them, like, I don't know, they could have had better quality ones to sign than this, but there's a ton of extras. And then there's two in there that really are signed. We have Kevin Nash, and it says 2002 down here, but I don't know if they got it signed in 2002. I think that just this picture's from 2002, maybe they got them at the same event or something. And we have the bad guy, Razor Ramon, rest in peace, Scott Hall. And both of them say to Chico, so I don't think it's just Razor saying, hey Chico, on here like he does. It's like both of these say Chico, even Kevin Nash writes Chico, so I think Chico is the name of the person that got the autographs. All these pictures and the autographs all together were $3. That's a hot deal. Next up, two cassette tapes. To add to my small but, I guess, growing cassette tape collection, we have MC Hammer, his first one, over here. And this was a big hit back in uh, elementary school. And then we have some crisscross. And I don't think I owned any of these, either of these cassette tapes at the time. I just heard the music all the time on the radio and everywhere else. Okay, all the rest are the VHS tapes. There's 16 of them. Let's get to work. good deal of these I found at the Goodwill Outlet bins where you just kind of move things around and find stuff and then you just pay by the weight and after the end of the hour or a couple hours they just destroy everything that was not sold. First find is Fright Night 2. I liked uh, the first one. I heard this one is actually kind of bad but I will watch it and you know who you are. I'll tell you my expert opinion on the movie. Jim and Stefania wedding? Stefania's wedding? I don't know. I enjoy watching the wedding tapes. Emergency action. Hmm. From 1989. These can be really funny, but they can also be kind of boring. I have not looked this one up to see if it's out there. I'm sure that it is, but usually really funny acting or, or reenacting uh, events and things like that. But we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. Christmas or Xmas. 95? What kind of gifts were people getting in 1995? We'll find out. I realize it doesn't say Xmas, it just says I... HX? What is this? HX95? Sideways I X95? What is that? I don't know. Rags to Riches new series? I don't know what that series is or when it was out. Here's one that has all kinds of stuff on it, probably from the 80s. Two Hours the Earthling. Two Hours Playback 86. It sounds like football or something. Morning Stretch and Karate Kid Part 1. Looking forward to this one. The 16th American Music Awards. That's definitely from the 80s at some point. I think the late 80s. Oh, look at this. If you can read this up here. Rags to Riches new series. 
September 18th, 1987. I guess that I guess that solves the mystery as to when that show came out from the other tape. Here's a twist. Julius Irving, Greatest Sports Legends. Taped from 1986. 1991, Cherokee, North Carolina. What was happening there? In 1991, someone's trip, I guess. Willy Wonka Chocolate Factory. This is the second one I've found taped and I was hoping the last one would have commercials because this is a childhood movie for me but the other one did not have commercials. Maybe this one will have commercials. Probably not. Okay, we got six left. We have the Blair Wedding? The Blair Witch Wedding? Hmm, I don't know. That would be something we're gonna find out. 1996? Daily events, 1997, blah blah, wedding day video. Hmm, Got all kinds of weddings going on here. Our wedding day. Well, the tape ended up at Goodwill, so what happened there? The next tape is blank. These are my favorites. And this one is seems pretty old and heavy, so hopefully. The next one, this one actually is blank as well. And it's another older heavy one. I don't think I've seen this slip speed before too, so that's pretty cool. The next one is also blank. Hmm. And the very last tape and the very last rare find of the episode is this tape. And, oh God, it's blank and it's really heavy. This one feels either like a really good quality one or it's older from the 80s. And you never know what you're going to find on these blank tapes. Well, that's it. And remember, like Indiana Holmes always says, keep up the grind and you get a rare find.